When late April comes to Seneca Air Farms in Laytonsville, that means it's time to get the planter in the field and corn in the ground. But it's inside the tractor where farmer Tom Linthicum gets the most information about today's planting. It's measuring acreage, monitors travel speed. It just controls the whole planter. Farming at Seneca Air Farms hasn't always been so high tech, as Tom's 93-year-old father, Charles, remembers. When I was a child, and up until the 40s, we basically farmed with horses. Then we start to mechanize in the early 40s during World War II. The family's history stretches back even farther, though. They've been farming in the area since 1826, making the Linthicums the oldest family continuously farming in Montgomery County. Our family started in 1826. We started growing tobacco and some other crops at that time. As time went on, they added a dairy herd. But a lot has changed since then, like the area surrounding the farm. The biggest change I see about Gumbert County, as far as the farm life is concerned, is the development, which is, has taken the rural atmosphere from the county. What the Linthicums produce on the farm has also changed. After transitioning from tobacco to dairy in the late 1800s, the family milked cows until they sold the herd in the 1990s. Even in 1996, we were filling the pinch with low milk prices. Also at the same time, if we were gonna add more cows, we were gonna to have to spend a lot of money and, and build all new facilities. It was just a time to get out of the dairy business and move on to something else. That something else was grain. Today, the family grows 1,100 acres of corn, soybeans, wheat, and hay across six different farms. Plus, they raise a small herd of beef cattle. This willingness to change when faced with a challenge has kept the Linthicums farming for almost 200 years. Tom's wife, Paula, says another key to their longevity is taking care of the land. On the farm, we have many partners, and one of our main partners is the soil. If we don't have soil, period, if we don't have it, and, and it's not healthy, it can't help us grow healthy plants. One way the Linthicums prevent erosion and reduce soil and nutrient runoff is with water and sediment control basins, also known as wascobs. These raised ridges around a field guide rainwater runoff through a pipe and into an underground basin. As the water sits in the basin, the sediment settles to the bottom. Then the water is slowly released into a strip of grass called a grassed waterway, which will capture any remaining sediment, keeping excess soil and nutrients out of streams and rivers. So that essentially, you know, it comes out of the field as clean as it came in. Measures like this one will help keep Seneca Air Farms productive for years to come. But will the Linthicum still be farming there? That's hard to say. Paul and I have two girls. Our oldest is now an ag teacher in Kansas. She will never probably come back to run this operation. Our youngest daughter is a junior at Oklahoma State, and she's into animal science, agricultural biotechnology. We'll have to see where that leads her. One thing is certain. The family's century-old love for agriculture will continue into the next generation. Down the road, we just got to see what happens. We'd like to stay here as long as we can and do what we love as long as we're able to do it. But the family will be involved in agriculture in some way. In 2019, the Linthicums became the 50th farm family inducted into the Governor's Agriculture Hall of Fame.